Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your honey pots because we have just witnessed a horror movie featuring none other than Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Tell you it's not just awful, it's downright unbearable. Right there, the pun, where ah, did you get it? Alright. But who would have thought that the sweet and innocent Pooh Bear would turn out to be such a terrifying creature? I mean, I've always thought that Tigger was the one with a bit too much bounce, but Pooh takes the cake, or should I say honey jar, for being the stuff of nightmares. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been so scared of a fluffy yellow bear in my life. I mean, sure, the movie had all the classic horror elements like eerie music, dark lighting, and jump scares. But who needs that when you have a growling poo bear coming at you with his sharp claws and beady little eyes? And don't even get me started on his sidekick, Piglet. I never thought I'd see the day where Piglet would become the villain of the story. But alas, here we are. He may be small, but he packs a mean punch, or should I say squeal, when it comes to terrorizing the audience. All in all, if you're looking for a horror movie that will leave you feeling traumatized for weeks, then look no further than Winnie the Pooh horror movie. Just be sure to bring plenty of honey to sweeten the deal, because trust me, you're going to need it. I mean, that horror movie, it's so bad it makes you wish you were stuck in a never-ending honey pot coma. I mean, come on. Who in their right mind thought that turning Pooh Bear and his gang into terrifying monsters was a good idea? The only thing scary about Pooh should be the fact that he never seems to gain weight despite eating all that honey. And don't even get me started on the acting, I've seen more convincing performances from a group of toddlers putting on a school play. I mean Tigger's fierce growl sounded more like he was having a hairball stuck in his throat. And Eori's attempts at being a menacing villain were about as convincing as his attempts at being optimistic. And let's talk about the special effects. I've seen better computer generated imagery in a powerpoint presentation. The only thing that seemed to be even slightly scary was the amount of glitches and pixelation in the visuals. In conclusion, if you're looking for a horror movie that will leave you shaking in your boots, then Winnie the Pooh horror movie is not the one for you. But if you're looking for a good laugh and some unintentional comedy, then by all means grab some popcorn and enjoy the train wreck that is this movie. Just be warned, it might make you want to never look at Pooh Bear the same way again. First of all, why is this horror movie so awful? First of all, it completely goes against the charm and innocence of the original Winnie the Pooh story. I mean, Winnie the Pooh is supposed to be a lovable, honey-loving bear who goes on adventures with his friends in the Hundred Acre Wood. Turning him into a terrifying monster just feels like a cheap and unnecessary gimmick. Secondly, the movie's plot is just plain ridiculous. I mean, do we really need to see Pooh and his friends terrorizing the residents of the Hundred Acre Wood? It just feels like a desperate attempt to create conflict in a story that never needed it. Now, I think I've already mentioned this before, but the special effects, Jesus. I mean, I've seen better monster costumes at a Halloween store. Just look at this. The visual effects in this movie are just plain terrible and laughable. The Winnie the Pooh horror movie is just a bad idea executed poorly. It's an insult to the original source material and fails to deliver on any level as a horror movie. It's best to stick to the classic Winnie the Pooh stories and leave the horror movies to more capable filmmakers. Ah, uh, I think we were on a long streak right there, man. I think we will five off the nuke, but yeah, let's continue into the second game. That guy got absolutely destroyed. But um, yeah, where do I even begin? There are so many lies out there that people need to stop believing. It's like we're living in a world where facts and truth have become optional extras that you can pick and choose based on your own personal preferences. But let me tell you, just because you believe something doesn't make it true. So without further ado, here are some of the biggest lies that people need to stop believing. Lie number one, you only use 10% of your brain. This one has been debunked so many times it's not even funny. Yet people are still clinging to this idea like it's some kind of scientific fact. Newsflash, you use your whole brain, not just 10% of it. Honestly, I think this idea came about because some people just aren't using their brains to their full potential. 
But that's not because they're only using 10% of it, it's because they're choosing to use it for things like binge watching Netflix and scrolling through social media instead of learning new things and challenging themselves. Oh, long shot baby! And let's be real, if we only use 10% of our brains, we'd all be walking around like zombies with vacant stares and drool hanging from our mouths. But luckily, we use our whole brains to do things like think, reason, create and innovate. Can you imagine if we really only used 10% of our brains, it would be like those glitchy robots from old sci-fi movies. Stumbling around and bumping into things we wouldn't be able to do anything productive or interesting and we'd probably end up getting really bored. So let's just put this myth to bed once and for all. We use our whole brains people. This second life, people may not like it, but carrots do not make you see in the dark. I hate it to break it to you, but eating a bunch of carrots is not going to turn you into a superhero with superhuman night vision. This was just a propaganda campaign during World War II to cover up the fact that the British were using radar to spot German planes. Sorry to disappoint you folks. Another lie that you guys should not believe in is... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm in a really sticky situation right now. This guy is downstairs or upstairs? This mini map is actually confusing me. Alright, get that guy, get this guy. Alright, we're going. Oh, this guy's chasing you, teammate. Don't worry. But yeah, vaccines cause autism. That's another lie. Okay, thank god that guy was AFK. Um, so there have been countless studies that show that there is absolutely no link between vaccines and autism. Yet people still refuse to vaccinate their children because of this myth. The lastly, the lie, the fifth lie or the fourth lie, I don't even remember anymore, but we've got that guy, is the earth is flat. I can't believe I even have to say this, but the earth is not flat. It's a sphere, it's been proven time and time again by science, and yet there's still people out there who believe in this ridiculous theory. I mean, have you ever seen a sunset? It's pretty clear that the earth is not flat, right? Okay, we don't need to talk about that anymore. Good guys, good guys. The flat earthers do, may not like what I'm saying, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these uh, live commentaries. It's a new thing that I'm. It's a new style of videos that I'm creating. I just find random topics to talk about, whether it's interesting, whether it's boring, whether it's newsworthy. Uh, yeah. Okay, that guy is mad. But yeah. Okay. okay, okay, okay. I'm just wrecking these unstoppable things. What gun is this? Is this an empty gun? And the attachments this guy has on it it has no recoil. It's disgusting though, the setup. The, the gun looks so bad. <laughs> the attachments make the gun look so ugly. Oh, you ran into me, mate. Yo, I am streaking up right now. We're on a 35 of a shotty, man. We're shoddy. That guy's mad. Finally died. We finally died! Oh, look at that! Yes! I don't even know what this camo is. It's like a shot. Blue camo shot. But let's call in this new guy. Lock it in. Lock it in! But yeah, I would advise you guys not to watch the Winnie the Pooh horror movie. If you're gonna watch it, then at least don't pay for it. I can't believe I'm saying this. Just find a random movie site to stream it for free and let your one hour and 40 minutes of time be wasted away just like mine have. I hope you have an enjoyable day. Peace out.